If you're interested in mindfulness in the book, uh, wherever you go, there you are. John Kabat-Zinn talks about this uh, meditation practice that's different than most meditation practices where you eat one almond and you focus all of your attention on the almond, the taste of the almond, the texture of the almond. Mindfulness is a vast space. That is a mindful practice that a lot of people have engaged in. And indeed, it can give you deeper appreciation for things that you already have. That's really a mindfulness practice that's geared towards trying to take a behavior which is normally about pursuit. Normally, feeding is we're going, we engage in feeding because of dopamine. We pursue more of a food because of that pleasure pain relationship I talked about before. The focus on the one almond or the or becoming very present in any behavior that normally would be a kind of exteroceptive pursuit behavior and bring it into the here and now. That's a mental trick or a mental task that the mindfulness community has really embraced in order to try and create increased pleasure for what you already have. It's really trying to accomplish a shift from dopamine being released to serotonin in the cannabinoid system being involved in that behavior. Dopamine has the quality of making people kind of rabidly in pursuit of things. Look at people who are high on cocaine or amphetamine and they are almost entirely exteroceptive. Drugs like marijuana, the opioids, anything that um, really hits the serotonin system hard tend to make people rather lethargic and content to stay exactly where they are. They don't pr want to pursue much at all. Uh, occasionally when people it, uh, smoke marijuana or consume THC, their appetite goes way up and they really want to consume food. That's because of its effects on insulin and its effects on blood sugar, which is a slightly separate matter.